A Hawaii Kai woman spent nearly half a century working at two well-known fabric stores. Terry Kamakana worked at Kuni Dry Goods and then bought the company and renamed it Kuni Island Fabric. She closed up shop last month and is now retired. KITV4's Diana Ko caught up with Terry to find out how the job kept her aging well. Terry Kamakana spent her entire adult life in this store or its predecessor. My love was running the store and meeting the people that way. Fresh out of college, Kamakana moved from Michigan to Oahu in 1974 and in 1975 got a job working for the Kunimuni family at Kuni Dry Goods. They sold it to her in 1997. The work kept her moving physically. Always unboxing the boxes and so physically that and going up and down the steps to the sewing school. So that kind of stuff has, I guess, kept me going. And active mentally. I was a math major in college. <laughs> Sewing is math related. You have to know your quarter inch, your five eighths inch. But more than that, it was a place to gather with customers who became friends. I think Terry's aging well because she's, she's been doing something that she loves. I mean, she has a passion for people. She has a passion for fabrics and sewing. And even when, it was, even when the store was on the corner, when it was Cooney Dry Goods, she was always very pleasant. I think it's her personality, because everybody's personality is different. You know, there's per personalities that attract and don't attract and, you know, people person, things like that. And she's a people person. I never knew I made such a difference in so many people's lives. At 70 years old, Kamakana embraces the freedom of retirement. I am happy that I finally am going to be able to do some things that I can do now because I'll have free time. I'm happy that I'll be able to attend my grandchildren's games, which I haven't been able to do, <laughs> I, and that we will be able to travel. But she's not saying so long to her friends. They were a big part of the fabric of her life and will stay that way. Diana Koch, KITV4 Island News.